President Eaton, a huge day for the uh, college here. Uh, five of our athletic programs earning MACJC Academic All-State Honors. Just talk about uh, that honor for the college. Well, I think that is certainly reflective of the athletic department that we have. Certainly we emphasize a lot of things, and one of the ones that we emphasize most is having good grades uh, and doing well in the classroom as well as on the football field and as well as in life. So it's obvious that we have at least five sports right there, and, and our other five sports, I'm sure they've done well too, but for them, for them to win, uh, that award is really uh, uh, special. And it's not just a athletic award. It could be one that the teachers can take a lot of pride in, faculty, staff, you know, the whole support system from top to bottom. Well, I think you're right. One of the things we have is an athletic advisor now. Uh, the coaches have bought into the, and of course it's important, it's important for them, for those uh, players to have good grades where they can go on from here. And when, when you have five sports right there that makes the college proud, it makes the athletic department proud, it makes the coaches proud. So uh, it is a good day for Itawamba Community College winning five awards. Really, really, I'm really proud of our, uh, all of our athletes. Uh, in all of our sports, we have 10 sports and uh, all 10 qualified to be academic team of the year and five of the teams won and uh, proud of the coaches uh, shows that uh, we do put academics first and uh, it shows that we are student athletes at ICC. Well, the women's tennis team win the overall uh, academic team award for women's athletic with a 3.8 or 3.8 uh, GPA. Uh, that's impressive. That's almost perfect for an entire team, and that just speaks volumes uh, for Coach Johnson and the job he did recruiting the type of athletes we look like look for here at ICC. Yes, with a 3.8, they were the overall winners, and uh, real proud of our women's tennis team. And uh, Coach Johnson uh, did a marvelous job. Of course, he's retired, and we're bringing in a new coach. But uh, we, uh, they did a great job on the court this year and in the classroom. And then we look also men's soccer. I think they've won the overall for the men's soccer award three straight years now. Coach Sullivan doing a good job there with the men's soccer program. Coach Sullivan has done a great job. Uh, yes, uh, he three-peated uh, this year as far as the men's soccer program. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, we also had a new coach, uh, Coach Dave Strother, that came in and uh, did the same with the girls. And then football and, I believe, softball uh, also rounding out the uh, five awards there for us as well. Yes, uh, uh, football, I'm very, very proud of uh, Coach Cannon and his staff, you know, to make sure that these guys are doing what they need to do in the classroom. And uh, we had football and softball. softball. Uh, Coach Andy Kirk uh, with a 3.6, very good job. So the Indians getting care, taking care of business on the field, but as you said, student before athlete getting it done in the, in the classroom. Yes, we are student athletes at ICC, and uh, our coaches, I'm real proud of them, uh, has done a great job, and uh, we just got to continue to make sure that we're taking care of business in the classroom and on the court and the field.